Hello everybody and welcome to this video about astrology from the point of view of Aotearoa or New Zealand. In this video I'm going to talk about the full moon in Aries that's coming up at the end of September. My name is Fiona Ingram of sunandmooncalendar.nz and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up, comment or subscribe to my channel. Now let's get into the Aries full moon with no further ado because Aries does not like to muck around. The full moon in Aries takes place on the 29th of September at 10.57pm. The full moon will be at 6 degrees of Aries and the sun will be on the opposite side of the sky at 6 degrees of Libra. At the time of the full moon we have an uncomfortable aspect and that is Venus square to Uranus. We've actually gone through this twice before, this is the third time, that's because Venus retrograded over that point and went forwards, went backwards and now it's going forward again over Uranus. So that is the last reprise of the Venus retrograde in terms of the themes of freedom and perhaps having an unconventional partner or an unconventional attitude to relationships that could have come up at the Venus retrograde time. Always at full moon it's a time to bring together the opposites. The Aries energy which is the main focus because the full moon is an Aries is all about the self, the individual, me. What do you want as an individual? What do you want to initiate and get started and go forwards with without mucking around? Libra on the other hand is more about the other and how we relate to others and how we keep the relationships harmonious and peaceful and looking for the best outcome for everyone. This Aries and Libra axis is really coming into focus because we now have the lunar nodes, the north node and the south node, the eclipse points in the sign of Aries and Libra. The eclipse points are now at the late degrees of Aries and Libra so not, not with this full moon but those questions about the self versus the other are definitely to the fore over the next year and a half. So this full moon is going to highlight some of those themes and we have an eclipse in the sign of Libra the, for the new moon in Libra in the middle of October. Let's look a little bit more at Aries because that is the focus of the full moon. You might like to think back to what you were doing six months ago when we had the new moon in Aries or the last year and a half since the new moon the year before. But let's go over those words I've chosen for Aries. Aries is about me, the self, Aries acts from gut instinct so Aries can be very direct and bold sometimes blunt and sometimes it can be very refreshing because there's just no mucking around you get truth from Aries. Aries will tend to jump right in without thinking too much because of the operating from gut instinct and because of this Aries is an entrepreneurial sign very much about taking initiative Aries is a leader there's also a strong physical aspect with Aries. People with strong Aries love action and adventure and physical exercise and also can really love competition, enjoy the thrill of competitive sport and games and actions in life, for example, in the business world. So at the time of the full moon, think about where in your life you've got that sense of adventure, initiatory energy, enthusiasm, gut instinct and where you just want to go for things and to do things independently. Do them in your own individual way and even if you don't have strong Aries in your chart, it is still there. Sometimes we might need to do some healing or some self work in order to access that, the, that kind of free and confident spirit but it is there within everybody. Looking now at a few other astrological energies going on, we have just finished spring equinox so we are bursting with new life and new ideas, very Aries. 
on the 29th of September of course the subject of this video the Aries full moon and then on the 11th of October Pluto is going to station to turn direct that's the first of the outer planets which are all in retrograde at the moment from the 11th Pluto at least will be turning direct and once again grinding through the last degrees of Capricorn and sorting out those issues of top-down power and control that have been the themes of the last 14 years of Pluto and Capricorn but really intense with those last degrees and then soon Pluto will be moving into Aquarius and on the 15th of October we have the first eclipse in Libra with the lunar nodes having recently gone into Aries and Libra so that solar eclipses with the new moon in Libra on the 15th so there we go everybody that is a summary of the astrological energies and the full moon in Aries on the 29th of September. I hope it's a beautiful full moon for you and an energetic and enthusiastic one. Bye for now. Hei kōnā rā. Ka kite.